Hello guys and welcome back to another live Wi-Fi battle in it's a raiding battle in the raiding battle arena and uh, we're doing VGC this time um, it's been a pretty good day for me so far so I'm in a pretty good mood I uh, just uh, had a dinner with wife and celebrated our anniversary at two nice strings to uh, draft uh, retrolley so <laughs> Uh, hopefully that does not impair my judgment in, in these battles. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. And like I said, we're doing a rating battle. Still using the same wonderful team. And let's see who we get. Uh, no. so we want to do double battle. And we just keep an eye on, out on my frames. All right, and yeah, we're using the same team. <sighs> Let's hope we don't get any DCs this time. All right, what song do we want? I really do like these two songs right here. Yeah. Version one and version two of these songs are pretty legit. As I mentioned before, you guys can probably already see that uh, I have updated my avatar and I think it looks pretty pretty fleek, but uh, I guess that's a matter of opinion as well. Let's see if we can find somebody quickly. I might I, I do like this team a lot and some of the changes that I might uh, consider down the long run is maybe using a inner focus Kangaskhan and using a multi-scale uh, Dragon Knight. I think that would that would work very nicely with the teams that we're using um, with the VGC of 17. Um, let's see, this guy has a Machamp, this guy has uh, an Excadrill, Tapu Koko, and uh, he has the dreaded uh, Mimuki. I think I'm going to lead with Kangaskhan because uh, he has Mimuki, and uh, it, he can hit Mimuki, still flinch it, as we saw in the previous battle. And I am going to go with my Trick Room Setter. Who do I want to use? I get the feeling I want to go for for Slowbro, but Slowbro is weak to a lot of things here, to the Electra, to the Ghost, and to um, Weavile. So let me go ahead and open up with Porygon instead. And do I want to bring the Slowbro? Who do I need? Well, I need Nidoqueen, definitely, because she is super effective against three of these Pokemon. And then, I think Incineroar shines very well here. So, let's go ahead and bring Incineroar. Oh, he has the same glasses as me. They look better on me, so it's okay. <laughs> I really can't hold my 3DS yet because of the my work has been causing a lot of strain on me, all the typing, so my 3DS is just sitting here and I'm gonna be doing everything with the stylus hopefully. <sighs> Alright, so he leads with two electric Pokemon. And that's the reason why I did not want to bring the Slowbro. He had a lot of, uh... Who's most likely to bring... To have the Focus Sash? The question is also who does more damage. And I honestly think that the Tapu Koko does more damage. So, I'm going to go for a Fake out here on Tapu Koko. And I'm going to set up the Trick Room. I think that's what I want to do, yeah. Uh, possible switch-ins. Maybe he'll switch out the Coco, but no. Yeah, and the reason why I want to go for the... <sighs> Darn it, maybe he lands it. Well, let's hope that we do not get paired. That did... That wasn't even a crit. 
So already I just lost a very important Pokemon and I guess I guess I messed up. I went for Tri Attack. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. I just screwed up and I probably see what I was talking about earlier about about the Imperinus? There you go. I thought I had clicked Trick Room and you know what? Trick Room Tri Attack? I guess you guys can see how I confused those two, right? Yeah, pretty stupid. And now that I see who the real threat is, yeah, you bet your butt I'm going to fake out that stupid Raichu. That did a ridiculous amount of damage. I don't even know how I confuse Trick Room with Tri Attack when they're completely different colors, but um, let's see what happens. Wait a minute, how did that Raichu take so much damage? That doesn't make any sense. Did I miss something? I'm gonna have to watch that again. I thought I, uh... Oh, try attack. That's right, I did hit it. That's that's what happened. Now that the Trick Room is out, though, um, I can easily, and I mean easily... Let me make sure. But I'm pretty sure that Tapu Koko cannot take... I'm pretty sure Tapu Koko cannot take a, uh... A Flare Blitz to the face, is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to look at its defense. I might still live it, but that's kind of a waste. If I don't want to... I don't want to Fire Serium, but I guess I don't have a choice. I'm going to Fire Flare Blitz on uh, Tapu Koko. And I'm going to uh, try attack on Raichu. I'm still in a very good position here because, yeah, he, he I, that was stupid. I could have set up Trick Room the first time and um, at least I wouldn't have taken any damage. But uh, I screwed up already. And uh, this puts me in a good position though because I still have three Pokemon on the field or in the back or in total. And... I mean, he's not gonna survive this flare blitz. This isn't. This is honestly an overkill. I might have just screwed up here. Maybe I should have just gone for the flare blitz. But what I didn't want to do is also take uh, recoil damage and additionally not take him out. That would really put me in a terrible position. This position is actually it's pretty good because, like I said, this is my second turn of trick room. Um, actually, it's going to be my... Shoot, this is not good. This is actually pretty bad. Uh, what I'm kind of concerned about here is that... Uh, and I'm wondering if I should switch out. Here's what I want to do, alright? And this might sound kind of ridiculous. But I know he's going to go for a fake out on one of my Pokemon. You can guarantee that a fake out is coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to protect with my Incineroar. And I'm going to switch out into my Nidoqueen. This is a very risky play because if he does not go for a fake out and he goes for an Ice Punch or a Knockoff. Um, it's he's gonna knock off my life orb, but I have a feeling he's gonna go for a fake out on Incineroar or fake out on Porygon and then for a close combat on my champ. He goes for a dynamic punch and I protect. So and he goes for a close for a knockoff. So that's kind of what I was kind of fearing. But now what I kind of want to do is uh, hmm. Do I want to go for a... I promise he's, he's going to go for a dynamic punch. I feel like the biggest threat here is... Uh, actually, I honestly think that a Dark Lariat and a... And a Sludge Bomb should kill. But at the same time, I don't want to risk that. I feel like Incineroar is going to go down here regardless. So I think I'm going to go for an, for an Earthquake. 
I think I'm gonna go for a Flare Blitz on Weavile, and I'm going to go for an Earthquake, because I'm going to lose um, Incineroar either way. He's gonna go for a Dynamic Punch. We already saw that. So, oh shoot. I'm, I just messed up, right? Oh no, I didn't. Oh my goodness. How is my... How is my Nether Queen fast, slower? I have no idea. I really thought Incineroar was a lot slower, but uh, thankfully I still survived that. And if he does go for a dynamic punch on Incineroar, this isn't bad because uh, next turn I'm just going to be able to take him out with a uh, Sludge Bomb and a Tri Attack. And he can't, he can't take out both of my Pokemon, and I still have one turn of Trick Room, so... This, this actually worked out for me. I mean, I'm not saying I can't lose the game. If he has Protect in there and he stalls and he's faster than me, he could still win. But, um, what should I do? Should I... I really think that I should just double, double target him, but... Maybe I just screwed. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. There's no reason for me not to. Uh... Yeah, I'm still under Trick Room and try attack. And he's gonna go for the Dynamic Punch on that Froze Stone. I mean, that freeze was completely irrelevant because, like I said, I'm still slower than him. And this knocks out, so... Yeah, I got the freeze on him, but it did not matter, as you guys saw. He did not protect, and Trick Room was still up. Uh, he was still gonna go down to the Sludge Bomb and try attack combination. So, that was a really good game, and uh, I'm really happy about that. Let's hope that... Uh, our second battle is, is just as good. That thunder though, on that life or right chew, that uh, really caught me off guard. And I, I honestly still, I have not investigated. I don't know if the, the Tapu's feels, I don't know if they increase uh, the, the move power of the current uh, I mean, I don't know if they if they boost the power of, of the same type move. So, for example, right there, Tapu Koko, he brought up the electric feel. Uh, I don't know if that boosts electric type attacks. I really don't know. And I still need to look into that. Because you have the electric feel train. You have the... I don't, and I don't know all of the official names. You have the psychic surge, uh, which... If it does, would boost psychic moves. Uh, you have the fairy feel, which I would imagine would boost fairy attacks. But uh, I I know they have an effect. Like I know that, uh, uh, for example, Tapu Finis, I think it is, uh, prevents uh, status moves, and Tapu Lele's prevents priority moves. This is a nasty team, guys. This is. This is VG16 all the way, and let me tell you guys something, I, I hate Landorus. I, I really hate and detest Landorus, but uh, there's nothing I can do, and I am almost positive he's going to open up with that Kangaskhan, uh, trust me, with that Kangaskhan and Th Thunderous, so <sighs> he, he probably already knows that this is a Trick Room team. And, uh, shoot. I still think that, uh, Porygon 2 is the way to go. Question is, who's gonna be my fake out support, Incineroar or Kangaskhan? Being completely honest here, I don't even feel like bringing, uh, a fake out support but I do need it and I don't think I have a choice but to bring Kangaskhan and I am gonna need the Nido Queen because uh, he has uh, he has that the Heatran and uh, that Thunders can't do anything to me who's the last person I'm gonna bring is it gonna be Dragonite is it let's bring Dragonite I don't know if that was the right call. Maybe I should have brought in Slowbro in the back, since uh, that Amoongus would not have appreciated. And then the thing that kind of bites here that I have to be careful is that if I set up Trick Room and he brought that Amoongus and he has Spore, that's gonna be terrible. It's gonna put me in a 
a very terrible position. But he opens with the double genie brothers, and um, here's a problem. And let me tell you why I'm not in a good position here because if I fake out Landorus, I'm afraid that his thunders might go for a taunt. If I don't go for a fake out on on Landers and go for a fake out on Thunderous. He's either gonna go for a knockoff or an earthquake, and that's going to hurt a lot. So I don't want to take all of that damage. I think that if he goes for a taunt, I rather risk that. So I'm gonna go for a trick room and I'm going to go for a fake out onto that thun onto the Landorus. I need switches now. Nice. That sucks. That sucks if he if 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 he goes for a for a taunt. Uh, he pre he predicted that so well. Wow. That really bites. Well, this is this isn't entirely too bad. That it's not a good position either and I'm definitely gonna go for an ice beam into that thunderous and I'm going to switch out my Kangaskhan just because it's intimidated um, I really want to go for Nidoqueen and switch in here the only problem is that if I if I switch in my my, my Nidoqueen he might go for a psychic Versus where if I switch in my Dragonite, he might he might go for a Thunderbolt, and that's going to hurt a lot. But I think I wanna I think I wanna do that. I'm gonna switch into my Dragonite. If uh, he goes for a Thunderbolt or a Psychic, I can kind of take either or. So. Let's see what happens. She might also go for a reverse trick, and that's something to keep in mind as well. And this does nothing. She goes for Toxic onto my Porygon. That's even worse. Maybe I should have just done a double switch, but there was no way for me to predict that. And he goes for a Thunderbolt onto. Yeah, and that's why I kind of wanted to go for a. Uh... So this is already a terrible position for me. He's gonna go for a Thunder Wave on that Thunders, and uh, there's going to be guys. There's going to absolutely be nothing that I'm gonna be able to do about it, and I mean, there's nothing that I'm gonna be able to do about it. Um, I'm in a really, really, really bad spot here. Um, I'm gonna go for a Rock Slide, just hoping that I get a, a flinch, that I land and I get a flinch on either one of these. I could have just. Oh, he doesn't go for the Thunder Wave. Does that knock? No. Oh my goodness, I forgot about the damn berry. That really sucks. I'm really hoping that Rockstack hits both of them and it does knock out here. Okay, so the Thunderous does go down. Let's see if we can get a flinch on that Cresselia. I know uh, he does a reverse trip from that's really bad. That's really bad. I'm gonna have to switch out that Porygon pretty soon. He's probably gonna switch into Lando just to get that Intimidate on Dragonite. I don't see why he would not switch into it. At least we knocked down one Pokemon. But, uh, yeah. So what do I want to do here? Because he's probably just going to switch out. I think I want to go back into Kangaskhan. And I'm, again, I'm going to go for a Rock Slide. 
just to see if I can get a flinch. Because I think he's just going to switch out his Lando. If he doesn't switch out and he goes for an Earthquake, then I just screwed up. But uh, he goes for a U-turn. That's not going to do very much. Of course, my my Rock Slide's not going to do anything either. But what I didn't want to do is keep taking Rock Dam, uh, keep taking uh, Toxic Damage because I am going to need my Porygon later on, and he's going for his own Canvas content. Oh, that's going to kill me, I think. Is it? No, he's faster than me. Turn of Trick Room is this? I don't even know. Um, I lost kind of my Trick Rooms. This is bad. I gotta wait to see what, what Turn of Trick Room it is. It is... Come on, come on, come on, come on, hurry up. I'm running out of time here. Please show me the Trick Room. Darn it! it doesn't show it? Turn number five? So this is turn five of turn five. Of, oh no, he reversed trick room. I'm an idiot. No wonder he went first. Uh, I'm gonna go for the extreme speed on Kangas. I went for a fake out in extreme speed. Hopefully he doesn't switch out. I completely forgot about that. And I just screwed up. I'm not faster. So if he if he doesn't go if he goes for a fake out, he's just gonna. Yeah, I was that was dumb. Really dumb. He's gonna go for another ice beam. <sighs> this is bad. Cresselli is just such a problem. This is not looking very good for me. And I mean this is not looking very good at all. Corselli's in the back just sitting completely healthy here, and I have no answers for... Uh, I need an Intimidate user on this team, I really do. Who do I want to switch in? I think I'm going to switch in uh, Middle Queen. There's no point in me setting, trying to set up the Trick Room again, because Corselli's just gonna, is just gonna reverse the Trick Room. What I'm gonna try to do here is go for a Drain Punch on Kangaskhan. Is that what I want to do or do I want to switch out? Yeah, I'm gonna go up for a Drain Punch on Kangaskhan. And I think I'm gonna double target that. Or should I protect? I need to start making plays here. If I don't make any plays here, I'm just going to lose. And I think I do need to make that play. So I'm going to Drain Punch and I'm going to Protect. Hopefully she targets my my Nidal Queen because she's healthier and she's, I guess, a bigger threat. No, but she doesn't. Yeah, I just screwed up. Oh, please don't take me out. Please don't take me out. Ah, she didn't even target the Kangaskhan. That really, that sucks, man. I'm really pissed off. That really bites. I made the complete wrong call there. Why would you target the... I don't get it. Why would you target the poor... Why would you target Kangaskhan when she's paralyzed? Not even a Mega, it just doesn't make any sense.
She's gonna go for a low kick onto my Porygon. She has to. Come on. You have to go for a stupid, uh... A stupid low kick on Porygon. Oh my goodness. I'm just making all the wrong plays today. I really am. This is really frustrating me. Hopefully she mispredicts and goes for the double trick room. No, she does not. Well... That was a garbage game. I'm really sorry about that. I really completely overpredicted. I just I expected a lot of things, and twice in a row, uh, my opponent just somehow read me like a book. So I ended up doing a trash plays. Yeah, of course I want to forfeit. I need an Intimidate user on this team. I guess to give me a better pivot. See, that's kind of what I was expecting the first turn. For her to go for something like a Return or Ice Beam or Ice Punch because Kangaskhan's carry that from VG16. Uh, but no, she double targets my Kangaskhan, which isn't even a threat. It doesn't even make sense, but it was a perfect play. For him. Well, thanks for watching, guys. You win some, you lose some. That's just how Pokemon goes. See you guys next time.